Shall we start now? Yesterday and I think for last two sessions we have been exploring and trying to understand fundamentals of pointers. In the first session, with the help of whiteboard, I tried to explain the theoretical aspects of pointers. Yesterday, we wrote simple programs. At the same time, we tried to understand how that call by value and call by reference works. So we tried to understand two chapters at a time, functions as well as pointers. Today, one more program we will write. And if suppose time permits, then I will explain you the program to divide the C program into multiple files but it depends upon how much time we take for understanding the first program if that is finished within half an hour then next half an hour i will dedicate to dedicate to the writing a c program in different files that is splitting a c program in multiple files so we will start directly so program will be okay i'll leave the name example four so program would be the same program we wrote in the first chapter that is area and derivative of a rectangle and the component of a circle. Okay. But now we will write using functions. Write a program. I will use the word develop. Develop a program using so in all how many outputs are required four outputs are required i think we have written this program using functions i'm not able to recall okay i will write it again right so yes we have written i remember so there will be four functions so int break area right it will take two arguments int break peri will also take two arguments then float uh, Circle area int and float circle circle. It will take also int. So these four functions will be there. There will be four uh, three inputs. One is length and width. It will be radius. Right. Enter. Enter. Link of a rectangle. I will store it in length. So careful with that. Sometimes I use the slash n and sometimes I use the slash t. So observe where actually I preferred slash t. And breath input enter. Yes. 
but we are going to write the program using functions, right? So I have to declare some variables like int area of rectangle and perimeter of rectangle and area of circle and circumference of circle, right? You can give comments as well. And I will call the functions. So AC will be break area. I will send the arguments as length and breadth, right? I will call the function perimeter of rectangle is equal to rect area length and breadth, right? I'll call the function AC is equal to circle area radius and CC is equal to circle circle radius, right? So these four functions are there now. Why I'm writing this program again? I want to convert this into using pointers. So this will be a revision for you. Int select area, suppose int L comma int B as I return A into B, right? Int Rect query into L comma into B return into L plus B right float circle area into R here we can Hash define that. I will write hash define pi 3.14. Right? Note that this is not to be terminated by semicolon. I will write return i into r into r. Right? And float. Circle circum int r return to into pi into r right the program is ready just for the sake of confirmation I will execute the program okay we are not printed that so warnings are there print if Area of rectangle of CD area of rectangle. I'll copy paste this. It will be a perimeter of rectangle. area of circle the percentage I write 10 point 10 point 2 in the area of circle right this is a cc 10 point 2 yeah and then Circumference of a circle, right? Here also area of a circle, right? Area of a rectangle, area of a rectangle. Grammatically, as far as possible.
then we should write grammatical correct messages. Now, let me build the program again. I think some warning is still there. AR is used to initialize. Okay, AR area of okay, area of written correct ARPR AC and CC. Yeah. So how you should not ignore warning, right? Otherwise, students just bypass warnings. So I will run the code. So length of a rectangle, suppose eight and six and radius of circle, suppose five. So this is the output, nothing big in this, right? Now, what if, what if I want to make all these calculations <clears throat> in just two functions instead of four functions, correct? Like these two functions are for information about the rectangle and these two functions are for information of a circle, right? I just want to explain you how pointers can be used. So I'm taking just a sample program to explain you. I will copy paste this. Right. I will write another program. What is it? Write two functions. One for getting information of other for getting information of right? No, one for getting information of a rectangle. Problem is that we cannot return to values. A written statement cannot return to values. Same for the circle. So I will write one function and then I will explain both. Void. I will write two functions. Rec info. I have to pass. Okay, what is to be passed? I will explain that. Okay, I will have to pass uh, int. <coughs> int int star and int star. I will explain why actually I have written like that. And void circle info int comma float star and float star. These two statements, how actually I wrote, you may not be able to understand. So I'll explain that first. Now try to understand this. There is a main function, right? I want to find area of a rectangle and perimeter of a rectangle. Right? And area of a circle area of a circle and circumference of a circle. Right? Now 
for each of these we have written already functions four functions so that is not a problem our objective is can we write a single function for this a single function and for this a single function observe carefully this function cannot return area of rectangle as well as perimeter of rectangle now what are the input values here input values are there is a rectangle and there is a circle right now as far as input values are concerned there is length there is breadth right and there is r these are input values what are output values required output output values required are as far as these two are this rectangle is concerned you need you want area right these are these are basically output values right a r p r a c and c c i'll write here that only sorry so output value for rectangular is area of rectangle and perimeter of rectangle right and here area of a circle these are required this is the output we want and circumference of a circle right so all these variables um, these four variables are there so all these variables are in the main function so there is these are input right these are input and these four are output try to understand this sir otherwise student always ask me sir what is why uh function is called by value and why function is called by reference because yesterday we wrote a program called by value separate call by reference separate now we are moving one step ahead we are going to write a program where we will use call by value and call by reference in a single program in a single function right so if this is a function for calculating information of a rectangle and this is a function for calculating information of a circle then this is going to calculate area as well as perimeter right and this is this function is going to calculate the area and circumference right so calculation will be done inside this function but output we want in the main function right output we want in the main function so because that is the that is the basis of any function will just perform a task and return the result the result we are going to print inside the main function this is how function works what i explained in the first program was that when you send arguments by value whatever changes are made in the function are not reflected in the calling function because when the function is called you need to send breadth and length rectangle at the same time you need to send area of a rectangle and perimeter of a rectangle which are variables to that function but if you send these variables as a value and you perform operations here the values will be stored in the local variables of this function which will not be reflected in the calling function right 
so so how we can make that happen we have to send the addresses of these variables right we will send the addresses of these variables. we will not send addresses of input we will not send addresses uh, of length breadth because there is no point we are not going to change breadth or breadth of rectangle we are not going to change length of rectangle we are not going to change radius of a circle but we want to store values in area of a rectangle perimeter of a rectangle area of a circle and perimeter of a circle right so how i will call the function basic part i will store here see here right? this is going to be same right and how i will now i will call function as now see that since i am not returning anything void is written type so whenever void is there you will call the function directly rake info i will send length breadth i will send addresses right so i will send address of a r and address of e r similarly i will call the function circle info i will send radius try to understand this i know you are going to ask questions on this okay but listen carefully why actually i am writing program in this way and area of a sorry, address of area of a circle and address of a circumference of a circle there is a difference between earlier calls okay this program and this program because here function is now performing two task i will call write the definition void try to recall the program we wrote yesterday of interchanging contents of two variables when we could interchange contents of two variables when you send address of variables right we want to store values here we want to store you don't want you don't want to store values in length and breadth and radius these are input but we want to store after calculation values in these four variables that's why i am sending addresses of all these four variables right and here it will be same again Right. And I'll write the function here. Take info. Okay, it is going to take int l uh, length in the formal variable l, breadth in the formal variable b, and you are sending address. So I'll collect it in a. You you uh, you are you are sending address of a. Uh, AR. What is that? AR. AR is the integer variable, so pointer should be integer. So in star, suppose you give any name. Uh, what should be name? Suppose. Suppose I write P, right? And uh, what is that? A uh, perimeter of rectangle. That is address again. So I write in star. That's it. So what is to be done here now? I will not write P is equal to L into B, and P is equal to sorry, Q is equal to two into L. Now I will not write like this. Why? Because 
this is going to return integer value this is going to return integer value and p is not an integer p is a pointer integer pointer q is the integer pointer so i don't want to store right <coughs> so this is ar right and this is pr right and you are saying addresses of this variable in storing in the variable p this is p and this is q right you are you have sent an address of r and collected in a pointer variable p you have sent address pr and stored in the pointer variable q so that is the reason now p is a pointer to ar and q is a pointer to pr right so whenever p is this P, this is Q, but when you write star P, star P is what? This value. What is star Q? You attach the star to the pointer. Star Q, star Q is this value. Right? And I want to store final result, I want to store here because. It is in the main function. So I will do the same thing. I will write, write star p and star q. In the same fashion, I will write the program. I will copy the base. You are sending address of AC. AC is what? It is a float variable. CC is a float variable. So when you store address of float variable, the pointer should also be a float. So this should be a float. This should be a float. Right? And what you will do? Two into I sorry I into R into R. This will be two into I into we have to define pi here, is right? And define as 3.14 right. so there is no warning or error <clears throat> so now this function is performing calculating uh, area as well as Perimeter. This function is calculating area as well as, but there is no need to return because you are storing this value where where q is pointing. This you are storing value, okay? You are storing result of this expression not in p, but at the location where p is pointing. And where p is pointing, p is pointing to this p is pointing here, right? This Q is pointing here. This P is pointing here. And that is what we want. And this Q is pointing here. So when you run the code, when you run the code, suppose 7, 3, and radius is suppose 4. So area of a rectangle is 21, perimeter of a rectangle is 20, area 
of the circle is 50.24 and circumference of the circle is 25.14 okay i hope you have understood this if questions are there feel free to ask questions have you first of all understood so this was one program now i will explain you and there was one point multi file project so that i am going to teach right now right multi file this project i will not close right the reason i was to close this okay i will copy this and i will open a new project before i write program i will i will try to explain you what we are trying to understand what we are um, supposed to write program in in which fashion because unless you don't know what i am going to write and why i am going to write you may not understand anything so what is the basis okay let's let's first start from the scratch this is the main function right inside main function you call the print if function right and many functions right you call some main now what i want to tell you is that we have also written our program using user defined functions right so in the last program we wrote program like rec you need to understand basic philosophy why you why i am teaching this new concept multiple project it is a, basically it is a separate topic but i prefer to take it immediately today only so we wrote rec area now as far as and we included here files hash include right and we write hash include something study out dot a this that now if you can recall pre process directives i have taught there everything okay as far as printf function is concerned this uh for example rec area rec area is rec area function is concerned to calculate the rec area you wrote another function right and this function returns value so this function was returned to just calculate area of a rectangle right similarly this print f function like rec area has this we call it is a function definition right and here we wrote function prototype if you can recall we write here function prototype and this is a function definition right similarly if this is required for user defined functions then for library function that it must okay because rules will be same everywhere be it a library function or be it a user defined function so printf function is concerned they, we do not write definition of printf function like we have written rec area why because it is a library function it is very difficult and that's why it has been provided by the library developers so definition of printf function we do not write right so that is available in the side the library right library is there which contains a separate file ok 
okay which contains the code of a printf function right so when control comes at this statement control goes to this file okay this code is executed and you get the output okay output the way you want like enter number something okay so that task is performed by this one this file similarly when control comes here the control goes to this function task is performed and value will be written right i hope you understood now if you observe this printf function the function is different different file is there right and this is a function definition this is hidden from you they don't show you so this file this is a function definition it is hidden from you now this is a function definition right each function definition has got function must have function prototype similarly this printf function has got the function prototype right this function prototype is written in a file std io dot h right dot h is the extension dot h is the extension so here you will print print a okay you will you will write you will find prototype of print a prototype of scan a and lot of functions are there f scan a f print a okay i mean hundreds of functions are there so prototypes are here right so that is the reason you include this file first here you include this file here okay since so this file is included automatically this line prototype of printf function that is also included where here and function is and this function is there so there is no problem prototype is here file is here right so this function will be executed why prototype has we have already included header file which header file contains prototype the basis of c language which we call it is a procedure oriented programming language or a modular programming language the basis is that program needs to be rather has to be divided or should be divided into multiple modules now for ease of writing for ease of understanding since we are beginner since we are writing academic applications we write everything inside the main function i mean in one file so we write main file we write that four functions everything we wrote in one file but when you go to the industry when you start working or rather when you actually develop some project in c language or whichever whatever you should divide that code okay, into multiple files and that i am going to show you right now all right and how to do that so observe this carefully everything each id has got same methodology okay some some changes are there so observe this carefully as usual create project okay uh, console applications okay c and multi file right multi file program right
So this is a multiple program. Hmm? Now I will copy this part. Observe very carefully on everything. So, this statement can be executed. Why? Because printf is the function which is the library function. But even though it is a library function, why statement will be executed? Only because you have written stdio.h. Right? And this stdio.h, this contains the prototype. Where it is, this here, a lot of functions are there. Hey, this is a prototype of printf function, right? But you will find only prototype. Definition of this is not available to you, right? So that is a proprietary. That is a, like a formula of uh, that Coca-Cola, Pepsi, okay? World doesn't know how that is. I mean, so that is a copyright. It is a kind of a patent. Hmm? So your program, your code is going to be a patent in the future. Right? Whatever you, whatever you write, that is your patent, your proprietary, your ownership. So your code is your ownership. So as far as these six statements are concerned, Print F can have pair of print events can have. These will be executed. Okay. But here, these are library functions. These are user defined functions. And the definition of this we have not written here and we are not going to write here. We will write separate files for that. When when you compile this program, okay, when you compile this program, when you compile this program, right? Compilation is just conversion of this program into zero one, right? Zero one zero one. And when you call the printf function, I have taught you these pre processes too. When you call this function, suppose printf function is called here, this function will be the definition of this function. This function will be linked. Okay, I told you linked. Okay, linker over there. If you can recall, if you have forgotten that, watch those videos again, again and again. So, this function definition is linked to your program during linking stage right similarly when you call some function like user defined function call me or whatever that rick area or rick, uh, rick Perry, all these user defined function the thing is that these function definition might be linked at the link okay linking time so that's why the earlier case you are not getting compile time error because it will wait. So we are going to write uh, divide. We are going to write definition of this function in separate file. First of all, I will uh, just observe this process. I I went to file. I'm going to file. I'm going to new. And I'm going to create now a file, not project, right? And here you will see the menu as C and C++ header file because we will now write separate header file and separate source code file, right? So C, C++ header file, I'll go here. I'll, and here file with 
full path okay so give that path what is the path path is where you have saved the file right and i will give name here right um what file name i will give uh, my this is just for the example you don't write like that okay my shape library my shape lib right so my shape lib if okay so file name with pull path okay and this is a header guard what is the meaning of this i will explain you and check all these both this and finish that so this code is automatically created okay what is the meaning of that i will come to here between this header guard this is called a header guard huh? pair of this right between these two i will write function prototypes where are the function prototype now see i have written the code i am just copying that right i will write this prototype there everything right i will write here So this is like you know our stdio.h file okay library stdio.h library file it contains just prototype similarly we are trying to mimic that operation we are trying to design our code in the same fashion we we'll write a simple program right so this will be a .h file which contains prototype of prototypes of user defined functions so now save this but instead of saving this save this as a save everything so that all files will be saved right now we and first of all i will write here hash include double quote my shape lib dot h has appeared in the this list right now what is, where to use that double quote and where to use i will explain you okay now now here i will add this file new file go to I will write shape right and finish right and here I will copy right so you can see here these are sources I will show first show first this is the main dot c and this is shape dot c main dot c contains what main program only main function right in the shape dot c what is function definition these are there. And this is a header file so this is this contain prototype now your application has been divided main function header file function definitions this is how program should be when you write applications in c okay during your academic during your college or rather i will say during my course now also you will start writing program by dividing it into header file function definitions and main function if you get this habit right now you will be expert within one one month okay it will take time see it will take time so now in the shape dot c i will add hash include that's why in the earlier case we didn't appear my Shape lib dot h right 
say all these things and now compile this program. Okay, fine. So look at this main function now. Wonderful. Right? Wonderful. Because there is main. Okay. I mean, variable declarations are there. Input output statements are there. Function calling is there. Output is there. Is there any implementation? No. Implementation file is separate. What are the where are the prototypes? It is different. Right? What is the benefit of this? Benefit of this is that once you write these functions, right? In the future, you can call this. You can call these functions instead of now. How you can call this? Just add this file at that time. At that time, you will just add that, include that file so that it will call. That is the you no know, use of functions. That is the reusability. Once you write the function, forget, put it inside the library. You can include that library. You can call that function. So again and again, again, you will not write. You will not write functions which have already been written, which which already exist. So this is how we should write C programs. Right. Um, the process is process is not extremely tricky. Okay, so you are a first time probably watching this. I don't know whether you have tried this earlier or not, but. If you are watching first time, probably this is a bit tricky for you. You have to watch this video again and again. Okay, try that. You will come across problems, errors, a lot of things will be there, but let it be. That is a learning process, right? Uh, 